Hey friend, this is Tom from Tom Camp Media. And today I'm gonna to show you some of the features on Hootsuite and why I really enjoy it for using to manage all of my social media, um, uh, social media profiles. So if you're anything like me, you probably have your hands in a lot of different things. I have a couple of different social media pages, I have a couple of different business ideas, and I have a couple of different things that are bringing in uh, different sources of income. So Hootsuite is really nice because I can create different streams of social media networks on each thing. So here's a stream that I have for my Twitter. I have one for uh, one of my Facebook pages, another for another Facebook page, one more for a group that I run, and one more for uh, my Instagram, and then I have a couple of others. All right, so let, let me show you how to add a new stream. So what's really cool is I can hit, I can select their pre-selected. So I can say, you know, engage with your audience, and I can choose a social network. Uh, maybe I wanna use a Facebook page. And I can say I wanna see the activity my posts to my page, my private messages, and my posts. So that's really good because it starts to separate it based on like what you have going on. So for instance, on this Facebook page one, I can see where I was mentioned. So that's pretty cool because if I'm mentioned in something, I can, you know, I can handle that right away. I can see my different posts and then I could see um, activity and then of course messages and I can add more and more things to this. So one of the really cool things that I like to do is I can add a, a stream to say, let's see, um, let's say Twitter. Okay, I'm gonna use this profile on Twitter and I can create a search or a keyword. So I can enter a word or phrase that I'd like to track. So for example, if I have a product that's out there and I just launched this product, I wanna know if someone's talking about it on Twitter. If there's a something that my competitor does, I can watch what my competitor does. I can track their keywords. I can create separate competitor lists and monitor what my competitors are doing um, on both a private and a public list. So I can I can watch. Okay, you know some influencers that are in my space, they're saying this today. You know I can see that. So it's it's really cool to kind of cut through all of the noise in social media. So if you're anything like me, you have a million social media accounts, a million different things going on. And not everything you see is even relevant at all. So Hootsuite really helps clean that up so that you don't get distracted, you know, looking at cat memes all day. So one of the things that I'm going to show you is how to add a new post. So right now I want to do a post about a new blog post that I did. I did a blog on my recording school website. So I want to say, um, check out my recent post. Or you know what, I want to write a little bit of sales copy on this. I don't just want to say, hey, check me out. That's kind of a bad a bad thing when it comes to marketing to just kind of say, hey, look at me. You know, you want to add a little bit of value or a little bit of backstory. So I want to say, I have owned and recorded with hundreds of guitars um, in the last... 20 years. I found great things that work for both acoustic, for both, um, I'm going to say acoustic guitars here. I found th things that work for both performance, for both live performances and recordings. If you record acoustic guitars, perform, uh, perform out as a solo performer, perform, perform as a solo performer, or are planning on buying a new acoustic, check out this video. And then I'm going to add the link and I can put the link here and I can hit shrink. So now it shrinks my link for me. So I'm going to enter this down and now I can pick all the different profiles I want to share it to. So I want to share it to my Twitter. All right, but it's too long for Twitter. Okay, so it's 171 characters. So I'm going to do a whole separate one just for Twitter right now. I'm going to copy that. Uh, I'm going to record it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so let's get rid of these characters. 
really, 92. Negative 68, wow. So you really have no room on Twitter. I have owned and recorded with hundreds. If you are recording acoustic guitars. So let's see. So 13, so that gives me the short link. And that's good that, I, that I'm able to shrink the link because that makes it um, a lot easier. So I can say, I can schedule this. Um, so let's say I want to schedule this. I want to schedule this for today um, at 7.20 p.m. So it's just going to post. Okay, so now I want to do a new one. Okay, and I want to do the, the whole post. So, and I don't want to do it for Twitter. I want to do it for Digital Recording School and the Digital Recording School group and my personal Facebook. I found great things that work for both live performances, found, I found great instruments that work for both live performances and recordings. If you are recording an acoustic guitar, perform as a solo performer, or are planning on, on buying a new acoustic, check out this video. There's the short link, and that's good. Okay, so I'm going to schedule this same thing, uh, 7.20 p.m., so that's today, and I am going to hit schedule uh, at least five minutes in the future. Okay, so I'm going to schedule this for, okay, 725, fine. So I'm going to hit schedule, and now that's good. Okay, and now I am going to do an Instagram post. Okay, I'm going to say I've owned recorded with hundreds of acoustic guitars in the last 20 years. Check out. All right, so I need to use, I'm going to use the, let's see, what is the best acoustic electric guitar? I'm going to use this one. Okay, and then I'm going to hit send now, and that's going to send it to my phone, and then I'll be able to check that on my phone to see how that works. So as you can see, uh, actually, you know, I'm going to schedule it for 725 as well. Okay, so I got that scheduled. Oh, I'm waiting for the link to shrink, but okay. So now I can go, and I've got my streams. I've got my, um, you see my publisher shows me all of my scheduled stuff that's ready to go out my drafts, things that require approval, stuff like that. So I can actually see my different social networks. So let's say, and I think I can select more than one if I'm right. Yeah, so I can see all of these. And I can see what's scheduled for each one. And I can go in and, and uh, you know, uh, edit each one. I can see it based on day, week, month. So it's really cool because now what I can do is I can mass create all of my content. I can I can get everything ready to go prior to and ready to be uploaded. And then what's really cool is I can use Hootsuite's um, Hootlet. And I can, let's say I go find a, a thing that I like. Um, let's see, acoustic, let's say recording. Uh, you know what, Steven Slate, this is coming out soon, uh, VRS. All right, so now what I can do is I can take this and I can hit that hootlet and I can schedule this right from here while I'm browsing. I can either auto schedule it to share. I can select my social networks that I want it to share to. I can hit post later, post now. So it just allows me to create something right off of here if I just wanted to share this and I could say something about it. like. Like, uh, you know, for example, if I wanted to say, um, let's wait for it to load. There's the link. I could say, uh, all right, and there's the link. I could select what I, how many do I want it to. Uh, I want it to, um, I guess my Twitter. And maybe my 
maybe my group, but no, I don't want to do that. And I'm going to hit auto schedule. Uh, your message is too long for Twitter, of course. Uh, I'm just going to say yet another game change. I'll just say changer. Yet another game changer. Okay. Uh, auto schedule. All right, so it automatically scheduled it, and the auto scheduler bases that on what what is the best time for my social media network. So it actually looks at you know all the interactions that's happening on my Twitter account, and then bases that schedule on statistically when the best time to do it is. But let's say I wanted to do a quote. Okay, so let's say I'm reading something, and right here, let's say I go, oh, this is a great quote. I can right click this, share selected text via Hootlet, and now I have a quote. Now I'm just quoting things from a thing. I can put quotations around it, do whatever I want, and, you know, and it'll, it'll share the link as well to the whole thing. So it's really, really cool because especially for, you know, no matter what your business is, you can just, you can go around, you can browse the web, and you can start kind of getting things ready you can start filling your whole calendar with things to share you can start doing things that, that people are going to associate with you that are going to help build your brand authority uh, if you're a musician you know if you're a musician the whole goal of creating your Facebook page is to create a place where people want to hang out you know people want to see things that they're interested in that your target demographic is interested in so you know let's say I, I got a buddy of mine he's a really good blues guitar player so let's say if he built his Facebook page and started started sharing things, articles that were related to blues music. Um, you know, started sharing videos that were, you know, related to blues music or related to things that the average person who likes blues would like. So let's say the average demographic of someone who likes, um, you know, some some Stevie Ray Vaughan or something like that, they're probably going to be into, uh, I don't know, maybe craft beers or craft whiskeys or something like that. Maybe they're into cigars. I don't know. I don't know. But whatever that that demographic is, you can find different things and start setting them up on the auto scheduler to share so that you're getting people engage, engaging with your stuff. And then when you're back here on your streams, now all of a sudden, you know, you're not getting distracted by every other thing on Facebook. You can see when somebody's interacting with what you're put, putting out there. And if you follow this stuff and you, you know, you follow some of like the uh, guidelines for when to post on social media and you know things like that you can really set yourself up for uh, some marketing success online so anyway i know this was a little long but i really hope it helps and i'll be sure to drop a link below uh for how to sign up with hootsuite i think i can actually put an affiliate link i haven't even looked into it yet um but if i can it's going to be an affiliate link and then if you guys sign up through that link i really appreciate it because i get a small commission off the sale so hopefully this helps if you have any questions uh drop me a comment below thanks